Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another uh, video. Today I'm going to be uh, beginning um, some Van Dam related projects. Um, today I'm actually going to be reviewing uh, Jean-Claude Van Johnson, which is a pilot that uh, Amazon.com did. Um, which has been picked up for a series, which is great. So I do want to kick off with that since that's really the newest thing that Van Dam has done that's uh, available right now. Um, also, Kickboxer Vengeance is out, but I have not seen that. Um, I do have that on my computer, uh, so I will watch that soon. But anyway, I know with today's Tuesday, um, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but yesterday was just a, a bad day for me. Um, just the day did not start off well. It got better as it went along, but it did not start off well for me. So I was pretty upset, pretty agitated. So uh, I didn't want to do this video yesterday, but by the time I got home, I think I got home around normal time. Um, I just just didn't feel like it. You know, I just wanted to just kind of relax and and let go of of what happened yesterday and move on. But today was a much better day. Today was just long. Um, I got home uh, about 45 minutes ago. It's almost 7.30 here, whenever you see this video. Um, had a long day. Not a bad day, just a long day. We were doing a lot of admin stuff today, so a lot of sitting around and, and that kind of thing. Uh, tomorrow should be um, hopefully a, a easy day for the most part. The afternoon, um, we're getting a bunch of new gear, so hopefully that will go quick. We'll see how that happens. We'll see what happens there. So anyway, enough with that. I figured why not uh, sit down tonight. Oh, and the fire alarm was going off earlier, so I was waiting for that to stop before I made this video. So hopefully everything is kind of relaxed and, and calm now. So we don't have to worry about anything. But anyway, I figured just do this video and get it over with. But I will say that I really, really enjoyed Jean-Claude Van Johnson. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I'm so glad that it got picked up for a full season order. And I'm assuming that Van Damme is working on that next. Because I know he just finished up a movie that's going to be called Kill Em All. Which they'll probably change the title because they always have a tendency to do that. Um, I know he just finished that movie up. So we'll... Uh, hopefully get the rest of this series next but i really enjoyed it i think that uh you know nowadays it seems like tv shows are the way to go but i mean they're not really if you think about it they're not really tv shows anymore um you know because netflix has their you know their own stuff you know stuff like daredevil now luke cage and and they want to do more of that kind of stuff and you know they They've experimented with shows in the past, but I think Daredevil and also Stranger Things have really been the most successful ones. So there you go. But, um, you know, and not just with Netflix, but TV itself. You know, you have a lot of great uh, shows that are on right now that people are so crazy about. So I think TV now is really the way to go. You see a lot of stars transitioning from films to TV. Uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. Like the show with Wesley Snipes that was on not too long ago, I forget what it was called. I know it, it did not make its mark and it was canceled very quickly, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems like TV is what people are really into nowadays, um, especially with streaming and stuff like that. You know, now it's uh, so easy to, to get access to shows. I mean, back, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you know, you had to spend 60, 70, sometimes more dollars on season box sets. And now that's not really the case. I mean, yeah, you can still buy TV show seasons, but, you know, they don't really go for that much anymore. But, uh, you know, some do. But, yeah, I think, you know, um, this was a really good step for Van Damme. I think that... You know, he's always trying to reinvent himself because I, I don't think that, you know, people take him for what he is, which is a, a great actor, which I've said numerous times in the past. 
you know, it seems like the past um, maybe eight years, you know, Van Damme has really been trying to reinvent himself. Um, I know some of his older directed video films, movies like In Hell, Wake of Death, you know, he was going for more dramatic performances, but I don't think it was until around the time of JCVD, you know, a little bit before that, where people started really taking notice. And then with JCVD, people took notice because it was a dramatic film that he was in, um, you know, the, the scene where he does the monologue in front of the camera. People really took, you know, effect of that. And also, you know, like him being Expendables 2 and Kung Fu Panda and the Behind Closed Doors series, you know, people have seen Van Damme in a new light. And again, I think that this was a really good step for him. It's an interesting concept, you know, Amazon um, trying out several different pilots. I know they did uh, a revival of The Tick the, based on the comic book, which I've always liked The Tick. I really enjoy the animated series. Um, I do remember the live action series with uh, Putty from Seinfeld. Um, so maybe I'll check that out at some point. But I don't remember what the other ones were. And then you had this Jean-Claude Van Johnson. And when I first heard about it, you know, I was kind of skeptical. It was like Van Damme. Because I remember he said it was going to be like Taken, but it was going to be like a comedy. So I thought maybe it was going to be like a movie. You know, when it when it first came out. It was going to be like a, an Amazon exclusive movie. But, you know, then... Sorry, folks. I've been trying to take this bandage off. They took some blood today, so it finally came off. Just trying to do it pain-free. I know that's a little hard. But anyway, um, you know, I thought it was going to be a movie, and then they're like, no, it's going to be a, a pilot, and if it gets picked up, it's going to be a full series for Amazon. And then I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's pretty cool. It's interesting. So, you know, I heard about it. I heard that it was done. It was going to come out on this date. And I think I was still, yeah, I was still in California when it came out. So uh, one of the first things I wanted to do when I got back was watch it. And when I got back, you know, I was doing some other stuff, worried about, you know, coming back and and uh, getting, you know, getting work done and stuff. And then finally one night I was just like, you know what, I'm going to check this out. And I watched the review uh, that my friend, my good friend Matt Rambo Rap for Life did. And if you're wondering why I'm keep playing, it's just I busted my lip open, so now it's kind of healing. But I know it looks weird and stuff. But but he did a good review on it. I really liked it, and I'm like, okay, let me check this out. So I downloaded it. And like I said, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was hilarious. I thought the Van Damme's timing was very good of the comedy, which we saw in uh, Welcome to the Jungle, which uh, which I thought he was very good in that movie. And he got, you know, praise for that movie. You know, people were like, oh, he can be funny. Yeah, he's a very funny person. And, um, you know, it, it was cool to see him in this. And it was only 30 minutes. It wasn't very long, which was cool. And it was very fast-paced. I liked it. It wasn't slow. It wasn't boring at, at any points. Um, you know, I like the fact that his boss is the mom from Cosby. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. It was cool to see her, uh, Felicia, or F how do you say her name? Is it Felicia? Or I forget how to say her first name. But she was also in Creed, which uh, came out which last year, which I did not like Creed. That's just me. You know, that's just my opinion. You know, if you like it, great. If not, that's cool too. But it was cool to see her. And I liked how, you know, again, just the approach, how they let Van Damme just be funny. You know, it opens up where he's living by himself in Los Angeles. He's riding around on a Segway, and all he has in his house is Pop-Tarts. So he makes Pop-Tart, and he eats breakfast, you know, and then he uh, he talks about who he is. Like the Well, no, before that, it's, a, it's the fight scene that you see later. And he goes to do a split, and he can't do it. And he's I just thought it was funny, and then there's this narration, he's like, you know, I, I'm Jean-Claude Van Damme. You may remember me from movies like Bloodsport, which is on cable all the time, or Time Cop, which is like Looper, but a million times better. And I, I just I just laughed. I just thought it was funny. And he's like, you know, I am the king of splits. And he tries to do a split and he can't. He's like, 
what I used to be. And then it goes back and it shows, like I said, him, you know, at his house. And he's, like, riding around on the Segway. And all he has is Pop-Tarts. And then he goes to, like, this ramen bar. But it's, like, uncooked ramen. And, and he's like, you know, what, what the hell is this? And he's like, that's what we make here, uncooked ramen. So he, like, gets it in a box to leave. You know, then he runs into uh, this old girlfriend. You know, they used to work together. Because you find out that, you know, Van Damme is playing himself. He's making, you know, making fun of himself. But, you know, his he has an alter ego where he's a spy. For those that don't know at this point, I know I kind of missed that part. But it's okay. Um, I think people know what this is at this point. So there's this girl that used to be his partner. He runs into her. And they leave. So he gets a call like the next day from his boss. And she's like, you know, I have work for you. And he's like going off on about these movies. And she's like, no, like I need the other you. And he's like, oh. So, you know, he goes on this mission. Um, you know, that's like the gist of it, you know. But his like cover is that he's an actor. So he goes on this mission. He re-hooks up with this girl. He's like, you know, things are going to be different this time. You know, it's not just about the mission. It's about you. And, and she takes that to heart. So, like, his cover is him being in, like, a um, Tom Sawyer, like a horror movie version of Tom Sawyer. And, you know, he's Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer's a woman, which is kind of interesting. And then, you know, he comes out and fights this monster. And he's, like, using size, like Raphael, which was really cool. And, you know, he's doing the the kicks and, you know, all the old school stuff. And then, like, he flubs, like, he messes up. And they're like, cut, cut. And, you know, the guy, the director is, like, talking to him. And he's like, yeah, kickboxer. Yeah, I, I used to watch that all the time on TBS as a kid. Which is funny because I think, you know, every kid that grew up in, in that era like me, you know, and this guy... And my friends used to watch, you know, movies on cable. And yeah, used to watch Kickboxer all the time on cable. You know, so that kind of stuff made me smile. Like the, the old references and, and everything. So then, like, Van Damme leaves. And he goes on this mission where he's, like, in this factory. And he runs into this guy that looks like him. And he's talking about Time Cop with this guy. So then he beats him up. And then he has, like, a script. And he leaves it, and he's like, oh, shit, I got to get my script. It's got my name on it. They're going to know who I am. And then you have, which I thought was the best part, where um, he fights all these guys. And it's old school. Like, he's doing the kicks, and he's like, come on, come on, you know, like he used to. And then he does the split, but this time it's successful, you know. And then he beats all these guys up, and it just, it was just so well done. It was hilarious, and it just made me smile, and just get all giddy inside and I'm like yes this is the old Van Damme this is the Van Damme that everybody misses and that everybody wants to see again and here he is and you know it just it was just so cool it was so cool to see that it was so cool to see the old school Van Damme uh, there was another scene in the beginning where he's like training and he like goes to kick a heavy bag and he falls over and he goes oh shit I forgot to mention that but you know, it's just, it was really well done. I really liked it. And he misses his date with this girl. And he tries to go see her, but she doesn't want to see him. And then it ends. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Again, it was only 30 minutes. But that's okay. You know, it wasn't, it didn't need to be an hour or, or whatever. I thought it was, it was good for what it was. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of this series. Hopefully, because, um, you know, sometimes pilots test really good. And then, um, you know, sometimes the rest of the series doesn't go well. But I'm hoping that this series continues to be uh, original and hilarious. And, uh, you know, and I hope that it lasts more than one season. I hope that we get maybe two or three or more seasons out of it. You know, I think that there's a lot of potential here to do good. Um, you know, to make a really good series out of it. But I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely looking forward to more whenever it comes out, hopefully soon. Uh, maybe early next year it'll come out. We'll see. So I probably will have to download it when I'm in Europe and stuff. But that's okay. You know, that's not a problem. 
Um, we will have internet there, so that's not a problem at all. But anyway, I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't like the scene where this guy comes up to him and he confuses uh, Van Damme for Nicolas Cage. But to me, it kind of made sense because the guy was like younger. So to me, it's like making fun of, of the younger generation because younger pe younger kids aren't going to know who Jean-Claude Van Damme is. They're going to think he's someone else. And I think that's why the scene was in there. I mean, was the scene great? I mean, no. I mean, you could have done without it. But I know a lot of my friends didn't like it. Like I know Matt said he didn't like it. He said it didn't make sense. That's his opinion. Um, you know, I just felt that it was it was trying to like make fun of of the younger you know younger kids and stuff because they wouldn't know who Van Dam is. You know, I think that's the gist of what was going on there. But I, it didn't bother me. But it's like it also couldn't have been in there. And, you know, it would have worked better. I think without it. You know, but it's just it is what it is. But anyway, folks, um, doing this video made me feel better. Um, well, I feel better anyway. I felt better last night. Uh, talked to some people and, and just and felt better, you know, just got better. So I'm good, um, but I feel even better now doing this video, talking about something really cool like Jean-Claude Van Johnson. Bring on more. I am definitely ready for more. Um, I definitely want to watch it again, uh, maybe after October because I'm still trying to trying to squeeze in the uh, the last of the horror films because, you know, we only have about a, uh, six days left in October. So I want to, you know, keep the tradition going that I've been doing for uh, the past several years where I just watch all horror movies in October. Um, and then I will get more into some other stuff, like all the Blu-rays I've been buying and stuff. But anyway, uh, just I know I'm going off in different directions here. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and stay tuned because next I'm going to start reviewing the sequels that Van Damme is not in. And I'm going to go in order of, like, his movies that have come out, not the sequels, like, you know, what year the sequels came out. So first I will do the Bloodsport sequels since Bloodsport came out first. Um, but if you don't see any videos in a couple days, I'll probably do an unpackaging video this weekend. It, it will not be a long video at all because I'm only expecting a couple packages this week, which I think they're all here. So it really won't be a long video, um, but I will I will do that for you guys like always. And then uh, next week, I know Monday is October 31st. Um, Monday should be an easy day for us, so I'll probably just come back here and watch the last bit of horror films. Uh, Tuesday is November 1st. Uh, Tuesday is going to be a busy day for us, so if I can get a review in Tuesday, I'll try, but after that, a review should be good. So I will, um, next video will be the unpackaging video, and then uh, sometime next week I will start the uh, the sequels that Van Damme is not in with Bloodsport 2, the next Kumite, which I did like. It's not a great film, but I do like it. I can watch it. So anyway, folks, um, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the views and the comments and all the nice things that people say. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Take care and uh, have a good one.